Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining us this morning in Sydney on Ludicrous Feed. Today I want to touch on the topic of Tesla Model Y performance delivery delays here in Australia. So when uh, my wife and I first put our orders in for the Tesla Model Y performance here in Australia, we did that on day one. Uh, early this year in 2022 and when we first put the order in it told us that deliveries would happen in quarter four so we were looking at about November to February around that time uh, November 2022 that is to February uh, 2023 happy to wait of course uh, for the performance and uh, watching all the rear-wheel drive deliveries take place, which uh, I've been to several, of course, as you know. In fact, I'm sitting in a rear-wheel drive uh, 2022 Model Y right now. Many thanks to viewer Ross, who has loaned me this car for the next, well, two weeks now. I've had it for the last month uh, while he is on holidays in Europe with his uh, lovely wife. And uh, of course, check out the video where I took delivery of this car with him. I'll go through my thoughts on the Model Y so far, the rear wheel drive Model Y, uh, after I talk about the performance delivery delays. Uh, back to the performance uh, delays. So I received a text yesterday from Tesla stating that uh, deliveries will now only occur uh, between January and March 2023. So quarter one, 2023 uh, yeah so not just myself but uh, I also saw a lot of uh, social media posts and just personal texts coming through from viewers saying that that also experienced the same issue with the delivery delays uh, look I'll give you my thoughts uh, personally for me it's a, not a huge deal uh, sure of course I would have liked to have received it before Christmas 2022 but uh, look, a couple of months delay is not a bad thing. It'll certainly help cash flow in my household, uh, being able to save up a bit more uh, to get finances organized for the Performance Model Y, which we'll be looking at uh, probably uh, probably close to, if not over $100,000 once we uh, include all the taxes on top of the MSRP and options. And uh, look, there are certainly some theories as to why the delivery delays have occurred. Um, the most plausible theory I've heard so far is that uh, there have been less than 7% of orders of Model Y in Australia uh, that have ordered the performance variant. Um, so majority of Model Y deliveries and orders have been rear wheel drive, it's certainly sold very well. You see a lot of them on the roads these days in Sydney. Uh, I'll just put autopilot back on, double tap right stalk. So uh, that equates to about less than a thousand orders in Australia and maybe some of them have been cancelled as well. So and the other reason too is that to make it worth their while uh, they would want to send at least two to three thousand uh, Model Ys onto a ship, Model Y performance onto a ship uh, to Australia and then they'd have to batch produce them as well so maybe it doesn't quite reach their threshold for right hand drive performance model wise uh, to be able to produce a batch before the end of quarter four maybe they're hoping there'll be more orders by uh, quarter one or end of this quarter that way they can produce more cars in a single batch load them all onto a ship uh, to be en route to Australia I've also heard uh, people who have taken test drives for the performance cars uh, getting follow-ups from Tesla, which uh, usually does not happen. Normally Tesla's demand is so strong that they don't need to follow up. But uh, now that they're following up performance test drives, tells me that there's probably not enough orders to fulfill a batch production from Shanghai Gigafactory in China for this quarter. That's certainly one theory I've heard, and um, that seems the most plausible to me. Again, another reason why I'm not too stressed with uh, the delayed delivery is that hopefully with the 2023 run, uh, we'll see improvements uh, all over the car. Uh, maybe things like the parcel shelf will come uh, for the performance Model Y for 23. 
Uh, I've also seen other improvements around the car, just from a cosmetic and functional point of view. Who knows, maybe even the 4680 battery. I'm just postulating here, so nothing confirmed, of course. Tesla don't reveal too much with their production lines. Uh, the other thing about Tesla too is that um, normally if there is a price increase, which most likely, just looking at world markets, there probably will be a price increase for uh, just Model Ys and cars in general, with inflation the way it is, uh, Tesla normally do honour the lower price. And if the price rises and what we ordered was um, lower then they will generally order uh, honor the lower price so that's what i'm happy about as well so they are the reasons uh, i'm not too fussed with the delivery delays and the reason uh, as to why i think um, there's been delays as well here in australia let's uh, just go through what my thoughts have been so far with the real drive model y uh, which i've had for the last four weeks and uh, comp comparing that to a Model 3, which is what we currently have at home, uh, look, I've certainly enjoyed the higher ride height, and my wife has as well, sitting mostly in the passenger seat. The kids have enjoyed the extra room in the back. Uh, sitting higher also gives you an extra bit of leg room as well. The uh, foot wells are deeper. Uh, the roof is higher, or the ceiling is higher. Uh, the kids have enjoyed the single piece panoramic glass roof in the back. Uh, the middle console is larger, more comfortable for passengers. The middle pull-down console on the second row. And um, sure, we've got a performance Model 3 at home. The acceleration is not as good in the Y, but certainly no slouch. It certainly is enough to get you out of trouble. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 6.9 seconds. Uh, the uh, suspension is not as hard, and I think probably a bit overblown. Uh, compared to what others have been saying with the harshness of it. I'll, I'll give this, I'll let you, I'll, I've certainly driven a lot more electric cars that have more gentle, uh, more gentler, more gentle suspension. Um, you know, I've driven the Polestar, driven the uh, Kia EV6, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, even the BYD Auto 3. The suspension in those cars is certainly a gentler ride but this car honestly i think the thoughts on suspension being too harsh is i think that's overblown i think honestly speaking uh, even with the road quality in sydney being the way it is uh, most of the time it's a very comfortable ride uh, especially on the open road like this so i'm certainly happy with the suspension not a huge issue at all and again with the delays with model y performance uh, maybe they'll further tune it uh, with the suspension uh, giving it a more gentle ride, we shall see. One thing that I'm very happy with uh, is the efficiency of this car. It's uh, been phenomenal. Um, I'll just show you real quick the energy stats here. So have a look at this. So for the last 50 kilometers, uh, I've been driving a lot on uh, the motorway, but also a bit of um, urban driving as well. And you can see there, look at that efficiency, 106 watt hours per kilometer. For me, that is unbelievable. Uh, I haven't just been on the motorway. I've also been, this road works, I'll just go, down, go a bit slower. Uh, I've been driving on urban roads as well. And if you look at the projected range, 447 kilometers, if we keep going the way we're going. Um, some of you may have seen my range test on the freeway. We got about, high 300s uh, if you're driving at 100, 110 kilometers an hour most of the time. Uh, but I think, you know, this is pretty accurate for mix of urban and uh, highway driving too. So again, efficiency is a huge, huge uh, uh, plus for this car, especially for a big car like this. And one more thing I should mention too, the Model Y, um, having that extra storage in the back, the boot space is um, a huge plus. Uh, going shopping, going on road trips, being able to load more in the back, luggage, uh, shopping bags. And also, uh, because it's a higher ride height, being able to climb in and out of the vehicle easier uh, is, is great for those with mobility issues, uh, even for an average 
person uh, with no mobility issues, it's much easier to climb into the car. You're kind of at your hip level anyway for an average person, as opposed to a Model 3 where you've got to kind of slump into the car as you enter the car because it's a lower ride height uh, than your hip level. So those kind of quality of life benefits uh, are, make, are what make Model Y a, uh, a very, very good car to drive and own. Alright everyone, the, those are my thoughts uh, on the Model Y performance delivery delays and just a quick snapshot on uh, my thoughts on the Model Y rear wheel drive which is what I've been driving here for the last four weeks thanks to viewer Ross and uh, I will certainly look forward to meeting Ross uh, when I uh, return this car back to him and his uh, wife very shortly. Otherwise thanks everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, leave a comment below if you're also waiting for a Model Y performance uh, here in Australia and what are your thoughts on the delivery delays as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you at the next Ludicrous Feed video and until then stay safe and as always happy charging.